This week in maths, we will be learning about word problems using addition and subtraction. Can you remember all the words that mean the same as add? There is add, addition, plus, total, sum, all together, and more than. These words will be really important when helping us to solve word problems with addition. Can you remember all the words that mean the same as take away? There is subtract, minus, subtraction, take away, difference between. These words will be really important when helping us to solve word problems using subtraction. Let's read this word problem. Ahmed has seven pens. Rashid has four pens. How many pens do they have all together? The first thing that we have to do is highlight the numbers in our word problem. In this word problem, the numbers we can see are seven and four. The next thing that we have to look out for are the important words that tell us whether we have to add or subtract. In this word problem, we can see the word all together. All together means add. So in this word problem, we have to add. Seven plus four. Now you can use different things to help solve that problem. You can use your fingers, you can use a number line, you can use pictures. Here are pictures here, seven plus four. We know this is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So our answer is 11. Let's read this word problem. There are nine elephants. Five more elephants join them. How many elephants are there in total? The first thing we have to do is highlight the numbers in the word problem. In this word problem, we can see the numbers nine and five. The next thing we have to look out for are the important words that tell us whether we have to add or subtract. In this word problem, we can see the word more and we can also see the word total. More and total mean add. So for this word problem, we must add. Nine plus five. Again, you can use your number line, you can use your fingers, you can use pictures to help you. Nine elephants plus five elephants. We know this is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there are 14 elephants. Let's read this word problem. Fatima has 12 cupcakes. Sarah eats four of them. How many cupcakes are left? Can you remember the first thing we have to do? That's right, we have to highlight the numbers. The numbers in this word problem are 12 and 4. Now we have to look out for the words that tell us whether we have to add or subtract. We can see the word eat. So we know that the number is going to get less because when you eat something, you take it away. Also, we can see the sentence, how many are left? When you see how many are left, it means we have to subtract. 12, take away four. You can use your number line, you can use different things to help you to subtract. Here we have 12 cupcakes. Let's take four away. One, two, three, four. And we can count how many are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twelve take away four equals eight. Let's read this word problem. 
There are 20 giraffes. Eight giraffes run away. How many are left? Can you remember the first thing we have to do? That's right, we have to highlight the numbers. In this word problem, we can see the numbers 20 and 8. Now we have to look for the important words. We can see in this word problem, it says, how many are left? When we see how many are left, it means we have to subtract. 20 take away 8. Here we have 20 giraffes. Let's take 8 away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we can count how many are left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 20 take away 8 equals 12. When you are solving word problems, just remember to highlight the numbers and find the important words so you know whether to add or subtract. Happy solving!